Welcome students. Today we will be solving a few questions from the IFT 2023 paper. So let's check the first question. It's from heights and distances in trigonometry. So it says that a person standing on the bank of a river observes that the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank is 60 degrees. This usually means the angle subtended to the height of the tree, to the tip of it. So let's name the tree AB. When he retires y meter from the bank perpendicular to the tree. So he moves. So initially he was some distance away. So basically that distance was the width of the river. So initially he was some distance away such that the angle was 60 degrees. Right? Now he moves away y meters. Yeah, they did not join. He moved away y meters and now the new angle is 45 degrees. Right? He further moves 15 minus 5 root 3 meters away. Don't know how we measured 5, 15 minus 5 root 3, but apparently he did. So this distance and that angle, the new angle is 30 degrees. So let's name the points now. So let this point be C, this point be B, this point be E. So this is the data that we have. We have to find the height of the tree AB. All right. So let's start with assuming the BC is the width of the river, right? AB is the tree. So let BC be X. Right. So in triangle ABC. Now tan 60 degree would be tan is perpendicular by hypotenuse, right? So AB by sorry, perpendicular by base. So AB by BC. BC is X and tan 60 is root 3, right? So that means AB will be root 3x. So that is the height of the tower, the tree. Keep that in mind. Now check triangle ADB. Tan 45 degree is equal to AB by BY, sorry, BD. So which means AB equal to BD because tan 45 is 1. Now AB we had root 3x. And BD is BC plus CD. So BC we assume to be X, right? And CD is Y, so X plus Y. So this gives us Y equal to root 3 minus 1 times X. Now, you can guess what the next step would be. We'll take the last triangle in triangle AEB. Here we're going to have 10, 30 degree equal to a B by B E. So A B we know. Right? Okay, first tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3. A B is root 3x. And B is the sum of the entire portions. Right? So x plus y plus 15 minus 5 root 3. Cross multiply, so you're gonna get x plus now we replace y with this value that we obtained, right? And we get root 3x minus x, so we just multiply the x inside plus 15 minus 5 root 3, and root 3 times root 3x will be 3x. This x cancels out. And we have 15 minus 5 root 3. So take 5 common. We're going to be ending up with 3 minus root 3. And that side, we have root 3, 3x minus root 3x. 
right? So take x common, we're gonna have three minus root three times x. So this entire thing will cancel out. And you're gonna have x equal to five. So the width of the river is five meters. Wow, what a river, right? So your AB would be now, AB is root three x. So it's five root three meters. So that means your answer will be option C. As soon as you draw the correct diagram, this sum should be easy. All right, let's do the next one. It's from profit and loss. It's quite a lengthy sum, has a lot of calculations. So follow it carefully. So the cost of setting up a utility bag factory is 1200. So let us keep track of the costs. So setup takes 1200. Good. Then the cost of running a factory, the machines basically, and the wages is 125 per 105 bags. Okay. So 105 bags. cost 125 rupees one bag will cost 125 by 105 rupees to make then he says 900 bags were made so 900 bags would be 125 times 900 by 105 now these two cancel by 15 so 60 by 7 so this gives you 7500 by 7 Right, so another point to be added here in costs. So this is running costs. This is 7,500 by seven. Right, now we have cost of raw material is 80 paise per bag. Okay, so for 900 bags, raw material costs, nine hundred into zero point eight rupees, which is seven twenty. Right? So raw materials. This is seven twenty. Add all of them together, that will give you the cost price. So that thing will turn out to be 1920 times, sorry, 1920 plus 17, 7,500 by 7. Right now, at the end of our entire transaction, we want a profit of 12%. So our required sell price should be 112% of our cost price. So 112 by 100 times 1920 plus seven. So if you take the fractional sum, it will be 20940 by seven. It's cancel it You're gonna have cancellations also, right? Because this is 16. One zero will cancel. Do the multiplication, you will end up with three three five zero point four. So this is the amount that we must sell the bags given the cost price to ensure we have twelve percent profit. But what is the actual selling price? Only seven hundred eighty five bags were sold, right? So that means seven hundred eighty five, and the rate is also given. 3.25. Right. So you do, do that multiplication, you'll end up with 2551.25. Now, what is the approximate sum to obtain from advertisements being printed on the bags? So they don't actually ask advertising on each side's 
cost. They just want to know the total amount of advertisement money required. So this information, both sides of the bag, this information is extra information. It is meant there to confuse you. So the required advertisement money would be that's the difference. So three three five zero. You can approximate them to whole numbers because this word is here. This word. That means you can round them off. Minus two five five one. This gives you seven hundred ninety nine. So your answer is again option C. Here also we had option C. Now, these questions are not difficult, but some of the data that is given are sometimes not essential to the problem. So just make sure you comprehend the question properly, and then you use the relevant data required. And calculators are not allowed. So most calculations will have to be dealt with in approximation. All right, I'll see you in the next section.